Hi, it's Corrine with the Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and today I'm excited to share a mini album, a chipboard mini album with you today. I did film the entire process, which will play right after this, so if you're interested, please stay tuned for that. But let me just share with you what I'm making today. This is a chipboard scalloped edged mini album, and it's one of those pre-made chipboards from Michaels. I think I paid a couple bucks for it and it comes with a binder ring but I went ahead and used my cinch to bind it. I love the look of that and it's so easy to do. So the first thing I did is painted it with these two color pinks. This is um, from Craftsmart and the white is Apple Barrel and this one is in light pink. I got this from Walmart and I believe this from Michaels. So I wanted it to have a, a little bit of a pink, but not. I didn't want it to be overwhelming, so that's why I added white to it. And I just painted all the edges. I chose my paint based on the paper that I was going to use. And this is a new paper pad that I just got from Michaels. And let me just say, I wish I would have bought two of them. This is absolutely gorgeous paper. It's lined in gold, the whole thing and it's thick paper and it's also um, soft paper it's like very soft so I just love this paper it's by Craftsmith and it's blush glam I had not seen it before I went to Michaels and the minute I saw this I picked it up and put it in my cart before I ever flipped through the papers I absolutely loved it let me just flip through it's not double-sided they have all these little banners and cut aparts in the back I'll just quickly go through this. They have the strips in the back and also some um, words here. This will be great to fussy cut. Look at this paper, so gorgeous. It's almost like a blush pink. Oh, I guess it's called blush glam, so yeah. Look at that. So I will most likely be buying another one of these because I, I did not want to use it. And I also on the front of my album used a bird cage from Kaiser Craft. And on the front of the album, the front and the back of the album, I sprayed it with I sprayed it with perfect pearls in the perfect pearl color. So maybe you'll be able to see on, on camera if I can get it in the right light. There you go. See the shimmer on that? Isn't that beautiful? So I just layered a couple strips of paper. I used the gorgeous lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll have all the products that I used in um, today's project down in the description box below. I hope you stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. They have lots of new items that they just listed and they always have a clearance section and a special or on sale section. So their prices are amazing. I think you'd be surprised. So I hope you stop by and check them out. I used some flower clusters here and all of these will be listed. Two different size leaves and look at their little dove embellishment. I used that. And then these are their fullness of summer cutouts. These are only like I think a dollar for a, a pack of I believe five of them. So again they're really really amazing prices. And there's my birdcage in the back. I added some of the flat back pearls from Wild Oak Crafts. This is their vintage seam binding. And then this is a cut apart from the collection. I printed out a digital Allie Edwards stamp that says Awesome Story. And I'll quickly flip through this. So being that the pages were so small, I decided to make some of them with a belly band so photos can be slid behind here and then journaling can be added to these and I think this paper collection would make a great wedding album which I might do this is the guy pure lace this is beautiful and some of the summer blooms from Wild Orchid Crafts this is the paper so that just stays open to slide behind there I made a little pocket out of one of their tags that says glamorous added a design paper in the back added some pearls on this side I used one of the organza trimming I love these from Wild Orchid Crafts and then again from the paper and then uh, cut apart from the collection. I made a little pocket back there so they can slide their journaling tags and then photos behind here as well. And then on this side I just added a cute little bow which I have a bow on the front as well. 
it's the same I just made it a little bit smaller this is a silhouette cameo cutout I'll put the design number I got it from the silhouette store I'll put the design number in the description box as well and I added a little 10 millimeter open rose in the center I love that again another little belly band to slide photos behind with some more pattern paper and flatback pearls and lastly I put some banners from the paper collection another cut apart that just slides right in there a photo also can slide back here and one of the off-white chrysanthemums so if you'd like to stay tuned to watch the process of this I hope you do I'll have all the links in the description box please check out Wild Orchid Crafts and have a great day thanks so much for watching
Thank you.